I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you few questions from my subscribers on permutations and counting principles. I've clubbed them together. These are the four questions. We'll answer them in this particular sheet. You can always pause the video, copy the questions, answer, and then check with my solutions. Question number one. How many different four digit numbers can be made from the digits 0, 1, 3, 5, and 7 if no digit is repeated? Question number two is, how many ways can four people be arranged in a round table? Question number three is, four boys and three girls are to sit in a row of seven chairs. How many arrangements are possible if girls are in adjacent chairs? No two boys are besides each other. Question number four is, at the Olympics, there are four French judges, six Spanish judges, seven German judges. How many ways are there of sitting them in a row if judges of the same nationality are grouped together? Right. So these are... So these are four questions for you. You can always pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's answer them one by one. The very first one is, how many different four digit numbers, so let's say these are the four digits, one, two, three, four, can be made from the digits zero, one, three, five, and seven, if no digit is repeated. So when you're making four digit numbers, you cannot place zero in the four, first place, correct? So how many options are there? You can only place one of these four. So we can say there are four ways in which this can be filled. Perfect. Now, once you fill this with one of these, now we can put zero anywhere, right? So once you fill it with one of these, you're again left with four options, correct? Let's say you fill it with seven, you are left with these four numbers. And now you take one of these, you're left with three and then two. So that gives you the solution for the first one. So it is product of these. So four times, four times, three times, two is your answer. Is it okay? So you can always use calculator, write down your answers and move on. So it's 96. Right. Let's move on to the next one. How many ways can four people be arranged in a round table? So whenever you have examples of round table, you should remember that to make arrangements, we have to always fix one person. We have to fix one person. Otherwise, there will be similar kind of arrangements. So there are four people, let's say we fix one of them, right? Now, once you fix one of them, these three can change position. So, so we have three factorial ways. Is it okay? Which is three times two times one, which is six. Okay. The next question is, four boys and three girls are to sit in a row of seven chairs. So we have seven chairs here. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many arrangements are possible if, let's look into the first one, girls are in adjacent chairs. So we have three girls, all of them together. So keep them together. So basically, we now have option. So these three girls are together. Four boys could go anywhere, right? So treat it like this. So we have a big group. So we'll call it like this. Treat it like this. Let's say three girls, right? So anywhere this could be, but these three girls are together and those boys could be in separate positions, correct? So, so what we can do here is we can treat this as one, two, three, four, and five positions. Is that okay? So five different positions can give us five factorial ways. These are five positions, right? Now, within 
the group of three girls together, these three girls, they could change their position. And that gives me three factorial ways. So the answer is five factorial times three factorial. Correct? So which is five factorial times three factorial and that gives you 720 ways. Is that clear? Part B is no two boys are beside each other. So now let's look into this formation. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now there are four boys and three girls. If no two boys are besides each other, that means uh, boys are kind of placed like this. Correct? And in between, the girls will be there. Three girls. Correct? Now what? These four boys have possibility of four factorial ways of being arranged and the girls three factorial ways. So that becomes our answer. Right? So it is four factorial times three factorial times three factorial. So I hope now the concepts are absolutely clear. It's not very difficult to apply the rules of permutations and counting principles to find these numbers. The last one here is, at the Olympics, there are four French judges, six Spanish judges. So there are four French judges, six Spanish judges, and seven German judges. How many ways are there of sitting them in a row if the judges of the same nationality are grouped together? So if you are grouping them together, basically we have three groups. Does it make sense, right? So we have three groups. So in three groups, that is three factorial ways. Perfect. Now, in each group, in each group, they can sit in different ways. Like four French judges could take four factorial ways. Six Spanish judges could take six factorial ways. And seven German could be in seven different ways arranged. So all should be multiplied. Is that okay? Therefore, the answer is three factorial times four factorial times six factorial times seven factorial. Perfect. Let's do it. So we have 3 factorial times 4 factorial times 6 factorial times 7 factorial. That gives us a very big number, 5, 2, 2, 5, 4, 7, 2, 100. So what we see here is, if we analyze properly, we can actually answer most of the questions based on permutations and counting principles without difficulty. Remember one thing, whenever it is a circular kind of an arrangement, you have to fix a person. Second, if they are in a row, then within a group, we could have number of permutations and they should be taken care of as we did in some of these examples. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write or comment, share my videos. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that'll be good. Thank you. And all the best.